This is the torsion gun holster from Bravo Concealment. This is what I run on a daily basis. This is my EDC. This is for a Glock 19. And in this video, I'm going to show you what's the best way to conceal this. Check it out. If you guys follow me, you guys know that uh, I like to run my torsion gun holster with a single bell clip configuration. If you guys follow me on Instagram stories, if you see my Snapchats, if you see uh, my Facebook stories as well, you're going to know that, that I like to run the single bell clip configuration. And I'm going to show you why right now. Uh, one of the main reasons is because it's just easier for me to conceal. 90% of the time I carry appendix. And so it's just an easier way for me to conceal. And the way that I conceal carry, it just, it just works great for me. So. Uh, again, appendix carry, I like to run it with a single bell clip configuration and uh, there it is right there. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, what's the best way to conceal carry? Obviously, the holster, the gun, super important, but you also have to dress around it. Now, as you can see, I'm not wearing a big, big sweater. This is a nicely fitted sweater with a shirt uh, uh, under the sweater and this works great for me. Again, single bell clip. I like to kind of can it forward a little and that hides the grip of the gun. So I can walk around all day like this. No one's going to know that I'm concealed carrying. And the single belt clip allows you to just move it back and forth. So if I need to sit down and I need to find some comfort, I have no problems nudging the holster over as I sit down. Now, a lot of people out there, they don't like to touch their gun. They like to set it and forget it. That's fine. If that's you, you may have to go with a dual belt clip configuration, which I'll get to in a minute. Again, single bell clip, never had an issue with it. I've been running single bell clip configuration for about eight years, ever since our first DOS came out. I've never had an issue to where uh, the gun popped out or anything like that, none whatsoever. The cool thing about this configuration as well is that you can run it on your strong side as well. So there it is right there. And because it's single bell clip, again, I can nudge it over and that's great concealment right there. Now, I'm not crazy about running my inside the waistband at the three o'clock or at the strong side. Um, there's a lot of curvature there on the body. Uh, it's not a flat area. So if I'm not gonna run it appendix, I'd rather just run it at about the four or five o'clock position back here. Now this position, it's, it's a flatter area. It's just easier to conceal. And there you go right there. This is what I like to run guys. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Now, let me show you the dual belt clip configuration. So this is our dual belt clip configuration. When you order a gun holster, it comes with two belt clips. This is the way you're going to get it. Again, I like to take this one off, the small one on the slide side, uh, because again, I like running single belt clip configuration, but this is a dual belt clip. Now, this is a great way to run your torsion gun holster as well. Let me show you. I'm going to run it appendix. So with appendix, you may want to move your belt buckle over a little, because now you have to make room for two belt clips. There it is right there. The torsion technology allows the gun holster to shift in a little, taking the grip of the gun towards the body. So there it is right there, dual belt clip configuration. Uh, you can't move it forward or back. It's set, it's done. It's gonna sit in that position and that's awesome. It gives you a good perch on the grip of the gun. It's a great way to conceal carry guys, awesome. Again, I'm just used to the single belt clip configuration. Whatever works best for you. What works for me may not work for you. Again, if you feel that one belt clip is not enough for you, you want the sturdiness and the security of two belt clips, then by all means, run a two belt clip configuration. The other reason I like the single belt clip configuration is because it's an easy on and off. This one as well, you saw, it took me maybe a second to take it off. Um, it's just easier with a single belt clip. Now, let's run this at the four, five o'clock position. So there it is right there. Good concealment, nice, tight to the body. There's definitely enough room there where you can get a grip of the gun and draw. It's a great way to conceal carry. Now, a lot of people say, well, yeah, man, but what if uh, you have to bend over and grab something? Look, I get it. Anything that you're going to wear, if you bend over and touch your toes, it's going to stick out, right? So. Guys, you just need to be careful when you're concealed carrying, uh, you know, sometimes if I need to go down and grab something, I'll bend at the knees and I'll go all the way down. It's kind of more of like a squat than just uh, just a regular bending over. So guys, concealment, it's not just about putting it on and forgetting about it. You need to be conscious and you need to be aware uh, of your surroundings. If there's no one there, then no worries. But you know, if you're at a Walmart or something and uh, there's a lot of people there, then obviously you just need to be careful. You need to be careful in your movements. You need to be careful, um, you know, uh, how you do certain things. It's just, 
It's just that simple, guys. Just be consciously aware of your surroundings. Now, these belt clips are adjustable, and I'm gonna show you right now how I can adjust this belt clip, moving it up a little, just to give it a little bit more cant. This is a zero cant right there. The way we send it out to you, it's just a zero cant. There's no cant to it. So if you move this one up and this one down a little, it'll give it a forward cant, which makes it easier to conceal the grip of the gun. That's the hardest thing to conceal. All right, so I've adjusted my belt clips. I move this one up, I move this one down. This gives it more of a forward cant. I'm gonna wear this appendix. Now, as you can see, it gives it a forward cant and it takes the grip of the gun and pushes it up forward. So it's easier to conceal. And it allows you to get even a better grip on the gun. Now, let's try this at the four or five o'clock position. There you go. Nice, comfortable. It isn't going anywhere. Now, the forward cant allows for an easier draw as well. So there it is, a torsion gun holster, dual belt clips with the adjustment for a forward cant. All right, so there's one more way that you can run your torsion gun holster, and that is in the linked setup. Basically, you're taking your torsion gun holster and linking it up to a single mag pouch. Now, this is very popular. We've been talking about this uh, for quite some time, maybe for a couple of months, and people really, really like this configuration. It's only meant for appendix carry. Let me show you. So there it is right there. You've got your torsion gun holster linked to your single mag pouch, all in one area. So there it is right there. Nice. People really love this. Guys, I hope this video helps in finding the best way for you to carry your torsion gun holster. Again, everyone's different. Everyone runs it the way they feel works best for them. So go check it out at bravoconsumer.com. Awesome gun holster. Now, obviously with a patent torsion technology, it takes the grip of the handgun and pushes it towards the body. It's a great holster. Go check it out, bravoconsumer.com. Guys, if you have any further questions about this setup, please, Go to our Instagram page, Bravo Concealment, and shoot me a DM. Thanks for your time, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon.